Hey, it's Tanil here from Dog Matters and today we're talking about free shaping. And in this video, I'm going to present you with a challenge as well to free shape your dog to do a task. So first of all, I'm going to explain what free shaping is and the pros and cons. Free shaping is when you use your marker that we spoke about in last week's video, so make sure you've watched that, to communicate to the dog when they're on the right track in training, except you don't give the dog any help or cues towards what you want them to do. So most of the time when we're teaching a dog to do something new, we'll put a treat in front of their nose and lure them, or we'll guide them with a leash and help them in the direction that we want them to go. But with free shaping, you might put like an object in front of them, in today's example, a washing basket, and you just wait for the dog to figure it out and you reward little increments towards the end goal. So you'll see in the demo, and we'll go through it, that when Lola even looks at the basket to start with, she'll get a yes and treat for that, and we progress from there. The pros of free shaping is it's fun, and your dog's really working their brain, so they should be really tired afterwards. The cons, and you'll see some of these come out in the video, is that the dog can get frustrated because they're getting so little help and guidance and signals from you, and having to figure it out on their own, some dogs can be confused and frustrated. It also works better with dogs that have um, experience with doing marker training and with shaping where they're offering behaviors as well. Now you'll find it really tempting to cheat by helping your dog, and I did in the video, and you'll see that some of the struggles can come up. So if your dog is really struggling or you're really struggling, you can help them in the end. But I want you in this challenge to try um, for as much as you can and give it a little, as little guidance as you can get away with to be as close to true free shaping as we can get with getting your dog to hop into the basket. So once you've done the challenge, I'm going to show you how with Lola and do a run through now. But once you've done the challenge, I want you to take a video. It doesn't have to be fancy, just on your phone. And I want you to post it in the Dog Matters community group. And uh, we can see whose dog does the best free shaping, getting into a basket and eventually put it on cue. So without further ado, let's have a look at how it went with Lola. The reason I picked Lola out of my three dogs is she'd never done this one before. Um, she's the least experienced and the most challenging because I know people don't really like it when I'm trying to do a demo with a dog and the dog's clearly done it before. Of course, Lola has experience with shaping behaviors before, but she hasn't done this particular one. And the other challenge for this is that she's a small dog. So the basket was at least her height, if not taller, and that made it hard for you for her as well. So you'll see how we worked around that and how I eventually did give her a little bit of help. But also you'll see in the beginning how free shaping works. Give it a go with your dog, post your videos, and I'll see you in the group. So yes. the overall goal is that your dog gets into the basket. Yes. It doesn't have to be a washing basket. You could pick a basket of a different yes. size if it helps. So what I'm doing here is marking and yes. treating Lola first for just for looking at the basket or anything towards putting her yes. head or feet in. And you can see that Lola knows to offer behaviors. But you can also see she's getting very little help. Yes. So that's why she offers different behaviors to see yes. what will work. So if your dog offers something that is not towards the goal, like when she laid down, then you're just going to ignore yes. that if you're free shaping. So where a lot of people get yes. stuck, including myself at times, is getting stuck where the dog is repeating a certain behavior that's close but not progressing. Yes. So we need to raise the bar. So in this case, Lola is repeatedly putting her nose into the basket, but it's very difficult for her to do much more. So what I start doing is marking when she has her nose in and lifts one of her paws as well, yes. trying to raise criteria and get her to take it further and realize to get into the basket. Yes. 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 
Yes. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good girl, come on, hop, hop, hop. 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 Yes, good girl. Come on. Hop. Hop. Come on, hop. Come on, hop. 
go. Good. 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 Yes. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Good girl, Lola. 
Good job. Yeah, good, good. So I hope that video helped you out with what you've got to do next and was also interesting to watch. And you can also see from that the pros and the cons of free shaping. And there's a few things to keep in mind to make it easier than what it was for Lola. I did choose Lola and that basket because I did want it to be challenging so that we could see some of these things that come up and use it for a lesson. But if I wanted to help her succeed a bit more from the start like you should with your dog, you should set a more attainable goal and in this case that would be a shorter basket so that it's easier for, for her to put her paws straight in. Now when you do this with your dog, do try and give pure free shaping a go where you give the dog a chance to figure it out on their own first. But you can of course help if they're struggling just like I did. When you're done make sure you film your progress and film your end result and post it in the Dog Matters community group. You have to answer three questions to get into the group if you are not in there already. Post your videos and let's see how you go.